my name is Andrew. Uh, we were talking about uh, our, uh, one of our projects uh, adapting the heterogeneous computing resources in our uh, data center, which is embracing the ARM uh, as a you know, flavor. Uh, yeah, this agenda. Yeah. Let me give you a quick introduction of uh, our company and uh, the scale. Yeah, we are a uh, number one mobile messenger company in Korea. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people using it actually. So, and we have a web portal, e-commerce, mobility banking, and other systems, yeah, and other services. Uh, the open source scale, yeah. We have uh, 150,000 instances in our data centers. Um, and 70% of, of, of them is for the Kubernetes already. Actually, our uh, services, no, 95% of services uh, transform into the uh, container one. Yeah. Yeah. So container is a major workflow yeah, work unit. And 600 pe petabyte volumes, yeah, quite large. And we have uh, five with six regions yeah, in our uh, OpenStack regions. Yeah. And we, uh, for the for the scale, we develop our network model. Actually, I, I give a presentation at Vancouver Summit, two thousand fifteen, yeah, and and the other the storage drivers we made. It. Maybe we can share that story the next session or this summit. Yeah, my cloud cloud my cloud vision is a simple and effective cloud. Uh, for the ARM service, uh, we made OKR like uh, ready for the global and mixture computing, and. There was the mission or there was the, the purpose, yeah. Uh, motivation and other things, uh, my team leader, uh, Ki-hoon, will have uh, details about that. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew. Uh, my name is Ki-hoon Zhang. I'm from also uh, Kakao Corporation. And then uh, today I, I will going to give you to about why we start this project and then what, what's the baseline and then what is the motivations and what, what is mo approaches and then uh, okay that's one the uh, motivations uh, motivation number one so we have uh, you know as you as you can see the uh, screen we have uh, some um, bunch of uh, type of flavors so we put uh, you know, we recently over uh, examination for the this uh, flavors workload and then we found that we have low CPU utilizations and the high memory consumption phenomenon. Uh, as you can see right side of the figure, so most of the flavor types are underutilized over CPU. However, the memory is quite well uh, utilized. So what is the reason for uh, the kind of phenomenon? Uh, the cacao service workload is, uh, is the reason. This, uh, that's why we are mainly offer uh, mobile service. It means uh, small memory footprint, but large traffic. So they are using a relatively many memory, but uh, uh, small at, uh, uh, CPU. And then also our service are mostly run on top of the co uh, Kubernetes so that our workload is mainly many, but uh, highly distri distributed over the cloud. That's why we have uh, that kind of uh, phenomenon. So, uh, that's of our motivation number one. And then second, we have also um, uh, uh, big uh, needs for the transforming the and then embracing very new uh, hardware architecture. Uh, for <laughs> we have a two perspective of for uh, need is uh, first one is technically and secondly uh, uh, strategically need is first. First of all, uh, for the technical, uh, we want to use our resource so much uh, efficiency, and then we want to uh, also we want low latency I/O, and then as you know, <coughs> uh, uh, as a cloud provider, they, uh, we don't want customer uh, under a, a noisy neighbor situation, so we don't want also no, uh, we don't want to avoid uh, noisy neighbor situations, and then also we want more fast and eff effective cloud through the host-based installation. And then for strategically, we want a seamless uh, introduction with uh, various type of hardware. And then we want, uh, and then we also saving less spaces because our, our uh, IDC or data centers are uh, uh, <coughs> suffering with uh, uh, lack of uh, spacing. So we, don't, we want saving our less spaces and then 
uh, due to the, the kind of situation, we want to also uh, build and uh, running and operating our data center with cost efficiency. And then we need new hardware architecture. This is all for our uh, uh, new data center. So that's why the, uh, all, all the kind of uh, motivation we uh, keep off, the, uh, we think like that we need something like kind of things are uh, preparation or for prepare our future. First, we want to use highly converged server with low, uh, lower power, con uh, power consumption. And then to enable uh, host-based isolation, we maybe need uh, some kind of separate uh, data processing un units or, uh, like uh, DPU. And then we want also white box switches. And then finally, we want uh, specialized server over appliance for our specific workload. So we have decided to use ARM. So ARM is, as you know well, uh, it, had, it, it, it has uh, many covers. And then, however, due to the reduced uh, this uh, instruction type, so it has low power consumptions. Nowadays, ARM has handful uh, two chains and ecosystem as same as x86, so it very easy to use and easy to programming as a uh, SOC. And then recently, it also recently it has been proven by real use cases such as AWS or Apple. Some, so that's the time to we accept new type of architecture. And then we, it it cannot be uh, achieved alone with inside of Kakao because we. Uh, um, also, we need partner company to join this project. Uh, our Kakao has a little bit uh, lack of skill to make server or uh, build architecture, build so, uh, hardware architecture, uh, architecture yet. So uh, we have choose Access Labs. Access Lab is uh, South Korea first ARM server manufacturers. It has this company has top to bottom solutions, and then it. It also uh, has a production experience, so that's the right par partner to join this uh, project. So um, we, ha we are uh, <coughs> kick off joint project uh, with uh, two uh, big uh, topic. First one is to find feasible workload for ARM microserver using Kubernetes. And then second one is ARM-based uh, cloud resource acceleration hardware. So all all, all of this story, how we start challenge of project in our company. So, uh, okay, I will uh, move on the next uh, uh, sub, uh, some slides. We are going to show uh, give you a talk about our uh, recent achieve in uh, this project. First one, first project is research uh, researching feasible workload. So our uh, environment looks like I want to be, looks like, like uh, as you can see on the screen, this is what we want to achieve in high level architecture through the project number one. Uh, if you, we, we have a workload, and then the user, when you user submit workload to our Kubernetes as a, as a service, uh, in our uh, ARM-based microserver uh, participating as a braver to OpenStack-based cloud, and then Kubernetes as a uh, service use that kind of flavor uh, as a worker worker nerd. So each <coughs> each server powered with a uh, very uh, relatively very slow but very low power consumption. So it will be uh, quite challenging how how the, what kind of uh, workload uh, fit for this kind of uh, situation. So and throughout. Through the, this project, we have some uh, we have derived four four kind of discussion and questions. First, what kind of workload types are feasible for ARM? Secondly, does ARM really offer uh, affordable uh, performance per watt than x86? Third, uh, how can we introduce new architecture type into OpenStack Cloud seamlessly? And uh, for finally, is our infra system ready to adopt new uh, architecture. So let's move on to uh, discussion three and four. Uh, left science process are existing, uh, existing process. There is not our responsibility, but, uh, but it, it is in our infra team. 
So right side, our researching target properties. Uh, ARM is to totally due for you uh, in our company and then our in infra system as well. So we have well, well configured and performing existing adoption process. We have a provider network, centralized OS provisioning system, and the homegrown OS tools and uh, security uh, compliance tools. So we want to uh, integrate with our new hardware type uh, very, uh, and then existing adoption pro process are uh, mainly concentrate for and build for the x86. So we want to introduce our new hardware type as an ARM. And so <laughs> our new target has BMC based fixed, fixed, fixed DHCP and then also BMC based internal OS uh, image system, and then it has not IPMI, not Red Redfish, not Open BMC. It has own, their own custom management system. So we want to overcome this kind of challenging. So we some feature are not acceptable or migratable to our legacy process. So we want we find uh, figure out how we integrate with uh, our system. This is ironic way. Uh, we build uh, some uh, Nova computer so drivers and then it drivers translate uh, our target system to into the OpenStack cloud, OpenStack cloud as a flavor. So through that, well, our uh, ARM systems are participating as a flavor into the uh, OpenStack cloud without uh, any uh, challenging and any uh, legacy uh, mm, broken system, make, make legacy broke, broke. So, and then shortly, do we have any problem with Kubernetes? Uh, thanks for the communities and supporting. We just not, let, not ready for the ARM yet in Kakao, Kakao only. So every code and tools are already uh, built on ARM and we just build and learn and then everything is fine. And then uh, after that, kind of uh, our uh, solutions, we can change our target to into hardware as of flavor. The DHCP, uh, we use a uh, provider network uh, over the DHCP, and then we can uh, input, uh, import to external image to, into the BMC, and then uh, all of this, thankfully, uh, through the Nova Compute and the Ironic Driver. So we make uh, successfully uh, introduce our new type of hardware architecture into our cloud. And then uh, number one and number two discussions are feasible workload. So due to the speciality of uh, properties of ARM, we, we can think like that, feasible workload, maybe a uh, distrib distributor and then parallel, parallel uh, execution. So then same workload, work throughput, but uh, low power consumption, maybe uh, expectation. This is our short benchmark result from that. Uh, if uh, we have uh, some short living HTTP connection benchmark and then encoding test, as you can see on the uh, screen, the throughput over uh, throughput or in the request per second and then uh, including time same with uh, we match same uh, number of bit uh, x86 and then we found that the the power consumption is uh, uh, eventually uh, very lower than uh, x86 uh, style so uh, when we <laughs> when we properly scheduling uh, del chao over the arm micro server, it will promise us same throughput but lower power consumption. It's, uh, it is very quick uh, summary of the, our uh, product number one research, uh, uh, research. Uh, We're running out of time, so we will, uh, we, I will going to very quickly overlook our number two ARM-based hardware acceleration. So we, have a, we are using now a very, our uh, unique host routing model. We are sub, uh, offering SRV uh, pass through, but uh, somehow we have we are all all S3 uh, worlds, so we we don't have uh, L2 layer for the TSP or some uh, we we cannot uh, embracing 
L2 layers uh, property. So we are we are uh, doing at uh, inside of corner. So this this is quite fit for over uh, performance. So we need something like that, something like uh, helping us to make uh, these things in inside of uh, hard hardware. So we want to we want to build new our. Uh, we want to build new type of hardware to, uh, like uh, smart NIC. So we are now uh, build new type of hardware. Uh, I'm SOC based in smart NIC. And then this is the chip from the NXP. And then it is already DP DPDK ready on the S SOC. And then it provides some hardware acceleration uh, features. So we can uh, achieve this kind of thing uh, through the this kind of things and then uh, we can make it more uh, affordable cloud and high, high performance cloud through this kind of things. And then also we were uh, preparing the ARM-based white box, but the purpose over some usage or use cases are still figuring out. So, okay, let's move on. Uh, let's summary of our uh, presentation. Uh, in this project, we, uh, we learned that kind of lessons. First, work uh, for work process and cultures, new hardware type is always doubtful, so that we need to move step by step uh, in kind of, uh, and then tech, tech is not only the solution, so we, you, we uh, very, uh, uh, okay, we are so um, carefully uh, uh, make a solution with this kind of processes. And then RAM is feasible for with smart enough workflow engine, workload can be sliced and distributable. So using many covers in very short time means that eventually the result is performance for what winner. And then in perspective of user, for user, server architecture is already hidden by OpenStack abstraction layer. Yeah, that is a like kind of flavor. So each flavor computing power. Power is critical factor to choose the to their usage. So if the performance of the ARM is relatively the same as X86, no reason to not no reason to not use using ARM. So lastly, we are some very special situation right now. So we have we are under suffering with a chip shortage. The issue is broadly affect so that uh, that if you guys want to in, uh, implement new hardware implementation, should be carefully uh, plan with this kind of uh, situation. Okay, uh, thank you for uh, concentration to our uh, session. And if you if you have a question, no, no okay, a lot uh, of time. So Q, uh, the question and answer will be uh, in uh, privately. So thank you for listening. Thank you. Thank you. 